Oh, we'll see. I mean, we have. Uh, he's a very fine man, but we're gonna we're gonna make a decision sometime tonight. He's a very very fine man. As far as Puerto Rico is concerned, that's been going, as you know, really well. It's been total devastation. We have over 10,000 people in Puerto Rico right now. We're getting truck drivers because the people from Puerto Rico, the drivers just aren't there. They're looking for their homes. They have a lot of other problems. Uh, likewise with the police force. But I think it's going really well considering. Uh, Rick Scott was just up, governor of Florida. That's been a success. Rick is going to get involved also with Puerto Rico. And uh, we've made tremendous strides. Very, very tough situation. And, and a big question is what happens? We have to rebuild. I mean, if you look at it, the electric's gone, the roads are gone, the telecommunications is gone, it's all gone. And the real question is what's going to happen later? It's a tough situation. Uh, the loss of life, it's always tragic, but it's been incredible, the results that we've had with respect to loss of life. Pe people can't believe how successful that has been, relatively speaking. I can't hear you, John. Go ahead. Well, I, I tell you, the governor of Puerto Rico has been unbelievably generous with his statements. I mean, he's been praising our efforts. And this is a very difficult, this is a total devastation. Uh, when you look at Texas and when you look at Florida, you know, it's a whole different level. Uh, nobody's ever seen when you have a Category 5 wipe out an island like this, because you have nothing. You don't have the roads. You don't have anything. And you don't have the people even to operate the equipment. That's why we have literally hundreds of truck drivers being brought into the island to operate the trucks, because those people have lost their homes, so they're unable to do it. And, and, and the police have lost their homes, so they're unable to do it. So it's a tough situation, John. Was it way too wrong to say that Puerto Rico was a good news story? Well, I haven't heard what she said. I can tell you this. We have done an incredible job considering there's absolutely nothing to work with. And a very big question is, what are we going to do with the power plant? Because the power plant has been wiped out. It's not like, let's go back and fix it. That's what I do. I'm a good construction guy. You don't go back and fix it. There is nothing. The power grid is gone. So we have a lot of big decisions, and you're talking about the dollars that you're talking about are really tremendous. And I'll be talking with the Democrats, and we'll be talking to Congress, about what we're going to do a little bit longer term. In the meantime, uh, we've saved a lot of lives. We've done a really good job, and now we're bringing the people for distribution. In Cuba? Well, you know the problem we've had in Cuba, and uh, We'll be coming out with something, but there was a big problem in Cuba, so we'll be announcing that fairly soon. Well, we're looking at Puerto Rico. That's a very, very big, big thing you're talking about. You know, we're spending hundreds of millions of dollars right now. It's a territory, and these are great people. I know the people very well. These are great people, but you know, there's a massive investment. You are rebuilding all of it at some point. Uh, as you know, there is, you know, hundreds of millions. There's a tremendous amount of money already invested in Puerto Rico by others before the storms. And that money has been in serious trouble. So now on top of it, a lot of other money. So a lot of look, a decision has to be made. What are you going to do? Puerto Rico was flattened. And a big decision comes as to what are we going to do. But I'm there to help, I can tell you that. Well, we have great secretaries, and we have some that actually own their own planes, as you know, and that solves that. But we put it in order that no more planes. If you look at past administrations, for instance, if you look at the Obama administration and you take a look at 
the amount of time that they spent in the air. They spent a lot of time in the air. But I felt very badly because uh, Secretary Price is a good man. But we are looking into it, and we're looking into it very strongly. Well, we'll take a look. I'll be announcing something in the pretty near future. I have a great cabinet, and you know, we save hundreds of millions of dollars through negotiation. I'll give you an example. With the F-35 fighter plane, me, myself, I've saved hundreds of millions of dollars in negotiating. And that's one of the reasons I don't like seeing anybody even have a question about, you know, flying. I just don't want to do that. We're saving tremendous amounts of money no matter where we go. If you look at what we've done in Florida or Texas, We've done that for relatively little compared to what other people. So I don't like to see that happen. And I think it's a shame because as a human being, Tom Price is a very good man, I can tell you. Well, that's unacceptable to me. No, that's un no, that would be unacceptable. Steve, go ahead. I've uh, had four meetings for Fed Chairman, and I'll be making a decision over the next two or three weeks. What about the use of private emails by staff? What? Uh, we are, well, first of all, we've, you know, Brock has done a fantastic job at FEMA, and Elaine Duke uh, is acting, and done, she's working very hard. And, you know, I think what FEMA has done has been incredible between all of these hurricanes and doing so well. Uh, but we'll be making that decision probably within a month. Homeland, Homeland Security, yes. Well, I've spoken to other owners, and I really think it's coming together. I noticed last night, or I was told, I didn't see it, but I heard everybody stood for the national anthem, and that shows respect for our country, our flag, and for the national anthem. So, you know, I'm very happy. I heard that, and they should stand. You have to stand. It's our national anthem. You have to stand. I spoke to numerous team owners. I have many friends. I did speak to Jerry, yes. Okay, thank you. Not a question of confidence. I was disappointed because I didn't like it, cosmetically or otherwise. Uh, I was disappointed. And, you know, this is an administration that saves hundreds of millions of dollars on renegotiating things, on new trade deals that will be, you'll be seeing the results very soon. We're renegotiating NAFTA. We're renegotiating so many different things and making much better deals. Uh, you'll be seeing other things come up. So I don't like to see somebody that perhaps there's the perception that it wasn't right. Well, I don't want to say, but we'll be announcing something today. We'll be announcing something today. I'm not aware of that. Yeah, I mean, I heard it was very ministerial, but I'm not aware of it. Anything else, John? Go ahead, Steve. He always, he always treats me so nicely. Uh, probably today something will happen. Something, something will be announced. Look, I think he's a very fine person. Uh, I certainly don't like like the optics. As I said, we renegotiate deals. We're renegotiating trade deals. We're renegotiating, as an example, the F-35 fighter plane. I've saved hundreds of millions of dollars. So I don't like the optics of what you just saw. Cuba, some, some happen? very bad things happened in Cuba. Walking very bad things. Yeah. Well, you're going to see what's happening in Cuba, but some bad, they did some bad things in Cuba. Probably sometime today, yeah. I'm not happy, okay? I can tell you, I'm not happy. Okay. 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 Okay.